this is Scott Talinsky with Level Up Tutorials. And in this What Is Wednesday video, we're going to be talking all about what is React Testing Library, which I mean, its name is pretty obvious what it does, but let's talk a little bit about why it's different and how it stands out within the testing crowd of things. So React Testing Library was created by Kent C. Dodds. And as you can see at Kent C. Dodds React Testing Library on GitHub, I'll make this link available in the description. You can see it's a simple, complete React DOM testing utilities that encourage good testing practices. And uh, this application lives up to its namesake. Uh, it does exactly all of that. And um, I, I this is my new favorite testing library. In fact, I just completed a series on React testing using React testing library. Um, and not only that, but all of my tests for level up tutorials are written in React testing library. So needless to say, I have a lot of experience with it at this point. And I really, really like this library. So let's talk about what it does and what it is exactly, because uh, how do you use it? What is it used with? And this isn't going to be a tutorial or anything, but what it is is essentially a way to test your React code. And by test, I mean render and evaluate and make sure that the right things are showing up. So does this replace something like Jest? No, it does not replace Jest. It works with Jest. Uh, and it works with Mocha. It replaces something like Enzyme. Now, Enzyme was another React testing library created by Airbnb that allowed to render your React components and check all sorts of stuff. However, with Enzyme, there's so many options, so, so many things to do with it. Uh, it could encourage some bad testing practices, and it actually was a bit of an effort to even use the right sort of practices based on all of the uh, training that's out there and stuff like that for Enzyme. So a React testing library gives you the stuff to work with DOM nodes specifically, where Enzyme was a lot about working with React components and checking things like props and checking state and stuff like that. Uh, React testing library is all about what is output on the DOM. Like what is the DOM at this time? And you can use individual actual DOM nodes and interact with them like JavaScript. So you can do things that you would normally do with JavaScript, but with essentially the output of a React component. Now, there's some really, really cool stuff in this. For the most part, this library, uh, I found it just gives you everything that you need to test any sort of components. It gives you a render, a cleanup, you can fire events, you can wait for elements to appear, which again is something I liked a little bit more than Enzyme. Enzyme, sometimes you had an API that when it got mocked data, it came back and then you had to re-render manually. You had to tell Enzyme to re-render this component. Now, this is going to function exactly like your component would in real life. So what you can do is you just say, hey, component render, and then you can have uh, an await for this uh, element to show up on your page. And then so as long as your API or your mock data or all that stuff worked correctly, well, when that data, that mock data comes back in, it's going to automatically re-render your applica application and the wait for element is going to fire and then it's going to move on with the rest of the tests. That made testing things like loading states really super easy. Uh, I, I just recommend checking out some of this this code here. It's really awesome. In fact, if, this is some code from the um, Level Up Tutorials testing series. And let's check it out here. One of the cool things that we did is we mocked some data coming in from an API, then we rendered our component. And then using React testing library, we first made sure that the loading, uh, the loading screen was there. After the loading screen was confirmed to be there, we used this await, wait for element, and then watched for the movie link to show up. Now, once that movie link showed up, we then checked to make sure that the loading screen did not exist and that we had a movie link that had a proper href and we had a movie link with a length of the amount of total movies. So as you can see here, this code is really super clean. When I converted my enzyme tests uh, to React testing library tests, I, I, I I vanquished a ton of lines of code. And that's really just because uh, it makes doing these things really easy, but it also enforces best practices. I also had to do like no configuration to get it working. I remember in like the latest version of Enzyme, you had to have this certain adapter and you had to have it loaded and all this stuff or else your test fails for uh, some reason, you know? Uh, so for me, uh, React testing library is my new go-to testing library because it encourages these best practices you're just working with DOM nodes, so it's HTML. You don't even think about React. If the question is, how do I test uh, this.state in React testing library? The answer is test 
what's changing in the DOM, right? If it's an accordion, let's say you're opening and closing a modal or something like that, don't test to make sure that the state is set to open because honestly, do your users care if state is set to open? They don't care. They care if the modal itself is open. So check the DOM nodes to see if the correct things are in the correct places. So uh, this library encourages all of that and it makes it really nice and easy. I am a huge fan of this library. Like I said, I rewrote all of the level up tutorials, tests in React testing library from Enzyme so I definitely had experience in writing a lot of tests in both and if I were to start my next project and I needed to pick up a testing library for React I would pick up React testing library hands down which is the main reason why I chose to do a tutorial series on it right so if you are interested in learning React testing library along with Jest all of the foundations of Jest and all that cool stuff head on over to leveluptutorials.com forward slash pro and you can sign up to become a level up pro you can see here for just uh, 19 bucks a month, you can get access to everything on the Level Up Tutorial site, including the new React Testing for Beginners series. Or if you want to sign up for a year, you can save 25%. So check out leveluptutorials.com forward slash pro, or if that's not your thing, you can always head to the Level Up Tutorial store and get access to this series, along with all of the other ones that are available, such as Level 2 React, Level 1 Electron, Headless WordPress, View for Everyone, Pro Gatsby and all that good stuff. There is a ton of series on here and there's new ones adding non-stop. So if you want to get access to all this and more, head on over to leveluptutorials.com forward slash pro sign up today and you can become a React testing master using React testing library and Jest. So hope you enjoyed this What is Wednesday. Uh, if you have any more questions about Jest specifically or uh, React testing library, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to get to all of those questions if you use a different library other than Enzyme or React Testing Library, let me know what you use because there's two, two of the sort of big hitters at this point. I would say Enzyme is still sort of the one that you see most commonly used where React Testing Library is like the new young gun that has uh, got all the juice. So check it out. As always, this is Scott Talinsky with Level Up Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.